Hey folks, Thursday, the 29th of September, 2022. Good morning, good morning, everybody. It's just after 10 a.m. here in Ireland. Um, pretty slow stuff this morning. Um, it, we've seen in equities, you know, we've just had some European data out. Uh, business consumer survey missed 93.7 on the 95 expected. Uh, industrial sentiment coming out, a small beat there, negative 0.4 on expectations, negative 1. Uh, so... You know, a little bit of buying in the bond uh, coming in on the back of this and helping equities to uh, lift somewhat off of uh, worst levels so far, lows on the day. Um, we'll drop the DAX here as we then move towards these US equities to have a look. And uh, pretty what, what we've seen here, you know, you see here with the NASDAQ on the pullback, just taking scales on oil there, uh, Luca um seeing right now lift here on oil gosh you're going to extend targets on yeah okay we're looking at monthly view up next tier up for me um so yeah really nice stuff uh on oil but we'll come back to that in a second all right look on equities here uh we'll use the spoos to uh have a look um uh, but ultimately here on uh i think we have uh well that was the vix we were using that quite a lot of trade on the vix uh, but look, here's the spoos on the weekly bars, right? And we have this linear regression channel up since, uh, well, this goes all the way back to uh, pretty much uh, 2009, right? Um, but it's a generally, I don't really trade off of these levels, but I do like to use these big, big linear regression channels um, as a sort of a temperature on the market and to see, you know, should we be bid, should we be offered? which way should we be going with the general trade, right? And so we've, we've pulled all the way back to this uh, regression channel top here on the spoos. And, uh, you know, we're finding a, a little bit of buying pattern coming in um, yesterday, and it's actually pervasive and holding that condition today as well. So, um, you know, nice stuff here going on in equities. So um, let's try and stay with the longs that we got uh, at the moment. But... Um, yeah, so this is the spoos on the uh, pattern, right, on the big pattern. Um, and then we're coming back in here on the 60-minute chart. We're kind of using this little range here uh, since probably, uh, well, the last uh, Friday, the 23rd of September, um, you know, through to here. It's, it, it's, it's not really a huge range, but uh, pretty important to kind of see, are we strong or weak as we kind of traded pretty much sideways since last Friday. So... You know, uh, this morning couldn't even get down to the bottom of this range, but there's the, that linear regression trend. Now, I'm not actually trade. I am long this market, but I'm not actually trading off of this trend. There are other levels that we use here on the team for 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 taking the trade that I've taken here this morning, um, and it's just coincidental that it comes in with the trend. And and all the, all the better, you know, to have that um, that sort of uh, you know overlapping of of uh, certain strong areas and seeing the strength then coming in from them um you know and uh overlapping really so uh back to vwap i think is what we're going to see here on the spoos at least pivot for now but playing for me uh playing for further upside to come in here like 37.66s and whatnot now if you are interested in the edge that we trade here uh do send me an email or send an email into info at dougancapital.com and uh you know be more than happy to discuss that um with you um but right now that's the spoos um, you're also seeing nasdaq coming in on its similar respective range high here finding those buyers but again we have other levels to be buying here to note bigger occurrences in the higher time frame for swing trades and whatnot um, in these markets now uh, i think what's happened here my my bigger hypo is that we will actually move uh not only to the 1158s but actually a bit higher up here on nasdaq from what's just happened um we'll be tracking that as we come into the uh, live session for the for the guys on the trading team uh in discord um uh, you know as we get there uh, and Dow just not getting back to that tighter little range area the range on Dow has been a bit wider to be honest I mean, you could you could probably do something like this uh, to give you that range, and we sat up on the highs there yesterday. But one thing to kind of I don't want to I don't want to put that on right now that range, and I'll just hold this lower one. But all important to note here on the Dow, see this uh, pink line here, right? That is the mid of 
the uh, linear regression channel. Now, this is like tech analysis, charting analysis 101. But you can see here, if I if I change this to, uh, what are we on, dailies? Let's go to weeklies and just compress this thing a little bit more here. Okay, so, and I'm just going to take off these um, these moving averages. Right, here's the linear regression channel. And look at the mid is the pink line. What was the high of yesterday? It was the mid, it was the pink line. A little bit of excess above, but listen, we turned and we came down from there, as you can see on this candle. So, um this is the only bearish sort of thing continuation uh, I have right now on this market uh, or on these U.S. equities markets. Um, so, you know, uh, we're gonna we're gonna analyze this a lot a lot more in detail um, in the Discord when we come into uh, two o'clock. Uh, so you're seeing euro uh, getting back over VWAP uh, dollar fading off of the strength coming into his PVAL couldn't get there should should see further dissipation in the dollar Bitcoin. Bitcoin catching a bid here. This little area. I mean, look, I'm not trading Bitcoin day to day, uh, but the low there of uh, the seventh of September, and then uh, the low of the nineteenth uh, of September, kind of giving us this little uh, micro range at the bottom for support, and it did come in support. Nice little bit off of that yesterday, and um, but really only retracing, uh, only retracing about seventy percent of what we had on Tuesday. So, you know, can we, can we, uh, can we get higher? Can we get higher in the week? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You're going to need a weaker dollar, first of all, um, and then sure. And so, yeah, if I'm looking at the dollar coming back on the trend here, yeah, that'll be new highs on Bitcoin for the week. And we're seeing a good performance put in on equities. So we might be seeing a little bit of interest from the buy side here across these markets. Oil. Uh, I really like what we've seen on oil the last two days. The guys in the room will tell you I was I was uh, fit to kill someone yesterday when I was at my desk, but I missed this entry. I mean, it's my charts. I've got the 7656s on. I wasn't able to take the entry at the time. I was doing something else. Uh, and sure enough, we got, uh, well, we got a big old move there. 7656s to close on a high of uh, 82s. So uh, really happy to be getting in on the pullback to this high 8042s for continuation up. We did actually manage to get on. I did manage to get on these longs um, into the session here, probably around the open yesterday and drive into uh, the highs. Didn't capture the last 40 to, to 80 ticks on this, but, you know, look, that's fine. We're riding this uh, right now. I think we can easily get to 8309s, like 82s, 8309s. Um, and higher, I think the buyer, the buying is now in, you know. And as I said, as I said uh, a little earlier in the week, I think it was a couple of days ago. I said, you know, we want to be thinking like, you know, a bit of Annie Duke, uh, world poker champion and uh, great author, a bit of Annie Duke methods here. You know, you want to place yourself in, a little bit in the future all the time. We are trading futures markets, and I want to be able to say that I was buyer on this area. When in, when in a couple of weeks, we're looking back at this area and just thinking, wow, wasn't that so obvious that we were going to come in with buying here? And you know what? We are coming in with buying here. All right. So that's it for me for another PUS session. I uh, hope everyone's doing well out there. Please do click to like and subscribe. Where is it? It's right there. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you in the Discord room. All right. Have a great session. Uh, US started to come later today. Very busy slate from one and a half one. You're getting German CPIs at one, and then uh, we're getting initial jobless claims at at one thirty out of the US. All right, take care. Bye bye.